again it's April here and welcome back to another video uh, this week we've got a little studio vlog again for you uh, we're starting bright and early on a Wednesday morning my, my voice is a bit croaky even though I've been awake for about an hour and a half it's just about quarter past seven and I did get up when the first number on the clock was five this morning which seems a bit silly doesn't it but I've been trying to do this uh, workout challenge this week it's by Lily Sabre if you guys know her do you want to say uh, hello, Boris? Yeah. How are you? No, oh, he misses Boris. Yeah, that's just life, though. You know, plants come into your life, they go out of your life. Some plants get overwatered and left by a cold window for months at a time until their insides freeze and they slowly die. And others thrive, like baby Boris here. But don't worry, your dad's name will forever live on in you. Anyway, uh, today I've got one small order to do. I did. Took, I took a few orders to the post box yesterday but one of them was an A4 and it wouldn't fit in the little hole in the post box so I've got another post box sorry it's the, all the buses are going past the window right now every bus in town is driving past the window but there's another post box just down the road that goes at 9am so I'm planning to do this new order that came in last night and then we can take them to the post box so I thought we'd just bring you along This order is all sticker packs, which is different because normally I don't sell many sticker packs. I hope I have them all. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Fruit salad. Uh, do I have a fruit salad? I don't think I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. So we got a plant powers. Fruit salad. Holiday homes. Veggie soup, which I need to change the name of because it's something different on Etsy, and garden party. So these are all sticker packs, and the problem with sticker packs is um, if they go into the envelope and they're stacked up too much, they go from one size thick, like one size to a different size, if they don't fit through this hole here, which is the Royal Mail size in guide. So what I do on sticker packs is try and like lay them out in a way that they can fit in the um, envelope but like they won't go over the thickness, you know what I mean? So sometimes it can be a bit janky um, but we'll just see. And then one trick is to put a little bit of washi tape on the back of them just so they don't slip and slide inside of the envelope. So I don't know if this is going to work. This actually I think is going to be too thick. And yeah, it gets through. Yay! So let's pop some freebies in. It's my freebie box. Got some extra. I got a goat. The goat which is the freebie sticker for this update. And then I've got some random stickers in here like some piggies that didn't cut. And I've got some little goats left over. I've got some rabbits and stuff loaded over from my last one so this is quite a big order so i'm just going to pop a few little freebie stickers in and thank you note which i put on my i put on my instagram story yesterday i accidentally printed three more pages of these but i did the back upside down so like when you flip it over it's it's upside down <laughs> but i like the the paper the ink is so expensive I, I can't really afford to throw them away so um yeah they're limited edition thank you cards oh it doesn't really go through anymore no it gets stuck there so the royal mail has this website which is pretty good where you can see how much everything is so this is a letter so we'll just say this is a letter what does a letter weigh i don't know one pound 70 if it was a letter and if we go to large letter three pound 25 so it's like double and it's more than what they pay the shipping for so which means i'm losing money sometimes it's worth it just to do a, a quick reshuffle this morning light is so nice isn't it on my face 
I jiggled those stickers around and I just couldn't I couldn't get them to be flat so I didn't want to risk it I could squeeze it was possible to squeeze it through but I don't know how they do it in the post office do they have a machine to do it by hand I don't know so I just got a sticker I paid the up upper level pricing just in case because the worst thing that could happen is if it arrives and they have the person who bought it like they have to go pay more postage or something I don't know if that's a thing but I don't know if it will just come straight back to me but um yeah I didn't want to risk it all done all done for the orders now I'm gonna go walk to the post box lovely 10 minute walk in the nice fresh air outside fresh town air and then when I get back I'm gonna pop onto the iPad for an hour 7.30, 7.30 right now so yeah I should be there draw for about an hour before work which would be nice uh, turn on Martin's lamp to 50 what do you want to turn on? I just told you it is Wednesday um, Wednesday night it's about 9.30 I'm actually really tired but I'm at that weird limbo stage where I don't want to get to bed because it's a bit early and I'm too tired to do anything. So I've just been on bed scrolling through YouTube, not even watching videos. Just looking at like, you know when you're scrolling through and the videos start playing and you see like 10 seconds and then they stop playing and they they loop. I've been doing that for like 10 minutes, just looking at 10 seconds of videos, wondering, do I wanna watch, do I wanna watch this? And then thinking, nah. I'm too tired. So I thought instead I would uh, get get on the art desk because if I'm awake, I might as well do something. And I've got this new, well, it's not new. I bought it like 2019. Yeah, 2019. I'm just looking, I crossed it out here. But it did say 2019, book 17, Inktober part two, which I guess I never did. That was my Bell and Bear. And I think I have ripped out like three pages from here where I did Bell and Bear and the rest is just empty. It's a watercolor sketchbook. So I'm gonna fill this one up next. I don't actually like the mastery sketchbooks. Nothing against them at all. It's just the spiral bound is not really my jam. I kind of like more of a like a, like a book book rather than a spiral bound book. So I've only done a little bit of drawing tonight. I was on Bea's sketchbook club, uh, Pillars Illustrator for her patrons. And I was sketching some Goosebusters for uh, my last illustrated animal that I'm doing over on Patreon. We're doing like a little project and it's my last one, Ghostbusting Gorilla. So I was sketching some Ghostbusters and I feel a bit bad because uh, everyone was chatting and then suddenly I got a phone call from my mum and she, we haven't spoken to her for a while. So I very excitedly started yelling at everyone that I had to go and Rosie was talking and I was just like, hey, 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 guys, guys, I had to go, I had to go. And everyone was just like, what? And then I basically yelled at them and then I hung up. So if you were on that call, I do apologize. That was very rude of me, <laughs> but I had to go because dinner was almost ready and I had to talk to my mum quickly. Um, but yeah, tonight I thought we could try this bad boy again. It's the dip pen. And I think I need to talk to Martin cause it's doing this, which I don't think it's meant to do. Um, and I don't want to, I'm really scared to push it in in case it stabs me in the finger. I already have one damaged finger. So I thought we'd give this a go again and maybe just try and draw something, like actually copy something from the internet. I know Franna does this all the time because, well, I don't know if she does not now. I'm still watching her videos from 2020. I'm trying to catch up. I started January 2020 and I've basically been looking at all her content on Patreon. This is on Patreon, guys. And now I'm on October and she's been doing a lot of work with dip pens. And I was like, huh. I just got a dip pen. Maybe I can try and draw some stuff in my sketchbook with it too. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get inky. First page are uh, done of dip, of dip pen experiments. 
I actually really like doing the houses because straight lines are fun and the duck was fun too and then I moved on to this lady and her poor little face. I definitely made her a scary looking and tried some flowers and then a couple of like weird milkshake glasses. I think it just takes a little bit of practice. Maybe this can just be my ink, my ink sketchbook on it. It might be a bit of a waste because it is watercolour paper but I don't know. Maybe I'll just learn to enjoy it. It's quite fun doing like because it's so what's the word um unpredictable but i'm still not over this the scratchy sound it's kind of gross anyway it is whew, 10 o'clock i'm gonna bed Friday morning, yay, almost the weekend. And I'm just in the office, because it was, this desk was clean, and I couldn't be bothered to clean off my art desk. Um, it's 7.30, and I'm just about to try and make these bunting go together. So I did show a little bit of me drawing these last night. These are for my Patreon rewards, which walk, are, are coming out today, so I have to finish them today. So everyone's, hopefully everyone's seen them, so this isn't, uh, it's not a spoiler, but basically my idea was to take the badger that I had drawn last week, I think, for my Alliterated Animals project. You might have seen on Instagram, it's like my favourite, the favourite thing I think I've ever drawn before. Um, I just love the style that I kind of went with and I really want to explore this more. So I really love that badger and I thought it would be fun to make, when I was drawing the badger I had lots of different like poses that I, that I was going to try on the bike. So I thought it would be fun to make like a kind of bunting, let me find the last one, where you can string up like the bikes, you know, like this, like a long, I don't know, a wall or a bookshelf or something. It's a bit of a weird idea. So I I'm trying to try this one here, which is the bike on its own. And I'm just gonna, I've got, you can't actually see it. I don't even know if I can see it, but I put teeny dots here uh, where I, they, they all line up basically on my handlebars. And then I didn't know if that was going to work, so then I did this here, which is like kind of one of the traditional bunting shapes, where there's a line here and I'm going to fold it over the string. So I'm going to try both these options and see which one works. I don't have any special tools. I have a sharp... I have this pin, a sharp pencil, and I've got like this putty eraser to kind of like stab into, so... It's going to be very blue peter and then we have this string here and i'm not quite sure how i'm going to put the string through because it's quite thick and i don't have a needle uh it's going to be a bit of trial and error so we'll see how we go i got nothing against strip clubs but i do have something against them. the day shift at a strip club you can't unsee that well my goal was to learn a new word every single day well i am okay oh. mm. all right i'm gonna help you okay okay don't well it's been about it's been about four minutes and I'm, I can't I just can't deal with these I can't the string it, I can't I don't have the right tools and like the strings are free and it's just not working and I've already torn like two badges so I mean maybe some other people will have the right tools but I don't and this is very, very frustrating for me I just don't I just don't know how to do it I can't blue peter this, you know? It's just not working. So, let's do easy version. Yay, easy version. So easy version is just simply this. Fold it over, glue it. 
Bish Bash Bosh, Bob's your uncle, Babby's your aunt. I did it! Actually, I, I really like this one because it looks more like a bunting. And it goes all the way across. Uh, probably m m might be good to have a couple more on each end, but I've cut the string now, so this is what I have to do. So yeah, I've got to take a photo of this, maybe tidy up the shelves a bit, take a photo, and then pop a post on Patreon, and then people can print them out and make them themselves. Yay, badges, biking! <laughs> So I realised I hadn't um, taken photos of like the as I was making it for the instructions. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I like to do the instructions with these guys. So I printed some more out, but my my mat is really unsticky, so I think it was getting a little bit caught here, like it just it was all lifting up and it wasn't really cutting properly, which is a shame. But I do need to buy a new stick, a new mat. So don't be Gertie. You need to buy a new mat because you're hungry, and this one. This one's just not doing it for her anymore. It's Saturday morning now and I've just uh, cleaned the art desk and brought everything in from and brought everything I always get those two mixed up <laughs> I brought everything in from the office because all my art stuff was in the office last night because I did a live stream on Twitch it was really fun I'll show you what we drew if you guys were there thanks for joining we did this which is like a full spread living room I really love it I did one last week in the same sketchbook and is it just me or do I want to fill up this entire sketchbook with full page spreads of interiors? Maybe. It could be a thing that's going to happen. This was going to be my Patreon sketchbook. But I really love this sketchbook and I kind of want to use it for general stuff. Um, I'm using this one right now, the mastery one. But I've just been doing some ink stuff. I did this. And then I did, I think you saw that, I did this last night on stream as a warm-up so I think I'm just going to use this for my ink like an ink and sketchbook over the next probably month I'd say it probably will take me a good month to fill up if I do like one spread a day just as a practice I think that'll be fun but that's not what I'm doing right now right now I'm gonna be doing some planning in my bullet journal this bad boy because it is the weekend we have a long weekend in the UK Monday is a bank holiday, so we have Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. I have been looking forward to this weekend since Wednesday because I forgot about the weekend until when, in, up until Wednesday. And then someone reminded me and I got very excited. So I was planning on having a super chill weekend, just chilling out, drawing, playing some games, watching some telly, going on a walk. But then I was thinking I actually have quite a lot of stuff planned. So I'm still planning on having a chill weekend but with lots of stuff so i'm actually planning to chill out which i know doesn't sound very chill <laughs> how many times can i say chill uh but i just i need a plan like i need to write i need a to-do list i need to write things down otherwise i'll forget about them and then tuesday will come and i'll be like wasn't i meant to do 65 things that i forgot to do so that's my plan i'm gonna do that now i've got a cup of coffee all ready to go Whew, that was hot um, I was going to have some water because I'm actually really thirsty, but Martin took the last cold water from the fridge, so I'm waiting for the water to chill, and I don't like like room temperature water, it just irks me. So instead I have a coffee, which I know probably isn't the best thing, so I don't think it's very hydrating, but girls got to do what girls got to do. I'm just going to sit here, maybe watch some YouTube, maybe chill out and watch some, listen to some music, and do some planning. Do some planning. So I filled in my to-do list. It's a lot of stuff to do, but it kind of spans patron stuff, my children's book course that I'm doing, 
um, some live streams that I've got going on, stuff for Twitch that I want to do, and then other personal things that I want to do for me. Like, I really want to try and go outside sketching this weekend. I want to work on my bookshop. This is it. Let's see how much of it we do. First off, i got to do my ghost busting gorilla and then later on i'm doing a live stream for patreon which is all about after effects so yeah i've got quite a lot of stuff to do today and i also want to work on my children's book and i don't know how much of this stuff i can show on the camera actually hmm might be a short vlog this week it's uh just after lunch and i had a knock at the door and i had this in a parcel what is it i already know i already opened it it is a magic wand. Alakazam. Wingardium Leviosa. No, I'm joking. It's not. It's not a magic wand. Uh, it is a glass dip pen. So fancy. I'm not quite sure how I feel about like this because it is a little bit awkward to hold. I got the I got the plainest one I could find because I'm not really into like all the colours and stuff, but it's still a little bit fancy for me. I'm gonna give it a go right now in my sketchbook. I think I'm gonna do another interior like this on this side of the sketchbook. And um, after that, I'm actually gonna go in and color some of these bits in to make it like some of it dark, some of it light. I don't know what I'm gonna use yet. Oh, I really don't like the sketchbook. I don't know what I'm gonna use yet. I've got, basically I have this jar here of pens. These are meant to be all my black pens, apart from a couple of mechanical pencils have found their way in and also this white jelly roll. But these are meant to be all my black pens that I own. So I'm gonna go through these. It's another mechanical pen. I've got so many mechanical pencils. And find one. This is a really good one. It's a permanent marker. Nice and chunky. But I don't know if it will go through the page. So to do some tests, I think it might be nice if this has just kept my black and white sketchbook, you know? Just for ink stuff. Right, we're gonna have a go. So yesterday I used this. Today I'm gonna use this. Let's do this one. Can you see that? It's quite, quite simple. Books and a chair and a, some little pot plants and stuff. So I was looking online and I think you have to dip it in and then you have to like let, let the ink go, like go up and then that's what holds the ink. And it is a bit drippy droppy. All right, let's give this a go. Okay, first impressions, quite hard, like there's no, ob obviously no bend in it. Oh, Martin, the line's only one thickness, like on here we could get lots of different thicknesses, depending on how I pre press down, but I guess you could like do it almost like a colour, colouring in thing. I feel like this one gets better, it's like has better control. But less chances of like having little accidents, like happy little accidents, you know? Oh, I just realised this is a rocking chair in the reference, that's cool. I'm not going to draw it as a rocking chair though. It's quite scratchy, but not as scratchy, like it's not making, not making me cringe. I quite like it, you know? So the ink is running out now. Just fill it back up again. <laughs> Not quite sure how. Oh. It's fun learning, isn't it? Oh, I find it so hard to control because you can't. You have to almost have your hand hovering the whole time. Like I can't put my hand down. I think I like the pen better. This is. This is really confusing because it seems like there's heaps of paint but then there's no paint. I feel like you have to hold the pen upright the whole time to get the ink flow. So there's no ink anymore but I thought if I held my pen like this the ink would flow. Um, I think I can see a little bit dripping down. I'm not quite sure about this pen to be honest. <laughs> It's so confusing. I was gonna say I'm finding it difficult to control the 
the ink it seems like there's um, no ink or too much ink you know uh, I think I'm gonna give up with this dip pen you know I don't think I like it uh, I just I can't I don't understand how it works uh, glass dip pen I give it a uh, 3 out of 10 yeah not my jam There is a dog. We're just going for a walk somewhere that we haven't been probably for a couple of years. It's just a little river and it goes out to a lake that we're going to walk around. And it's really nice, beautiful day out. Oh, you're wet. <laughs> <laughs> Look how green it is here. It's beautiful. Oh, look how nice it is. So overgrown. We have arrived at the lake. It's a little, it's just a little lake, but it's quite nice. There's a few people walking. And look, some friends are coming. Hi, friends. Bread is really bad for them. You know what they like, though? Peas. I don't know what this type of bird is, but I really like it. This white one. See it, Martin? <laughs> Ruined my shot. Just, I'm taking a video of the cows. Ooh, it's a bit stinky around here, though. But these blossoms are so beautiful. If you guys aren't in the UK, you might not see these plants, but these guys are called stinging nettles and they're really painful if you brush up against them or accidentally walk into them. They'll sting you and you'll come up with a rash and it'll be horrible. And wherever there's stinging nettles, there's these leaves called dock leaves. And these are the biggest dock leaves I've ever seen in my life. Normally they're like this big. And what happens is, if you get stung by a stinging nettle, you find a dock leaf and you rub it on your skin and it makes the uh, pain go away. But I just thought, these are great. Look how big these are. They're gigantic. Anyway, better get going. Martin's waiting for me. Plant update. These are the, the little cutoffs from goat right now. And we think these roots are long enough to plant. So we're going to plant these in a, in a pot. I mean, pot them. Uh, this one here looks fine. Except this leaf looks like it's dead. So I'm not sure if we just cut that off. It is connected to the bottom, so maybe we just trim it. But yes, hopefully these both work. Now, these are looking good. These guys over here, not so much. These are Huey, Dewey and Louie. These guys came from Boris. So they're still making leaves, but I think they're waterlogged and basically rotten because they're all soft now. I'm not sure if we did this right. Um, the wood has gotten kind of gross. I have changed it a couple of times, but basically if you touch it and I'm not going to because it's disgusting <laughs> It just collapses. I don't know if we did this right. I don't think we did um, They look alive is the thing, but I don't know if we can save them So we repotted the cutoffs from goat and we decided we decided that we're going to call them Ben and Jerry This one's Ben and this one's Jerry and then on the floor here in plant corner, we've actually put Huey, Dewey and Louie. We cut them off again, right at the top. And we're gonna give them one more chance. It's Monday afternoon now and I have to get this vlog up. I forgot it was Monday because it's bank holiday Monday and this vlog is due today. So I actually didn't film anything yesterday or pretty much today apart from our walk because I have been doing lots and lots of stuff this weekend. Like I've been really busy doing stuff but most of it's like admin like getting posts ready scanning in all my sketchbooks and like making them nice making instagram posts things to kind of like i think i've mentioned this month a few times that i'm trying to get lots of stuff done for june so i'm all ready for june and i can just have a relax because i got my holiday coming up next weekend for 10 days and i'm very excited is it 10 days or 11 days it's nine days <laughs> 
<laughs> that's depressing but it's still good i have been busy in the background doing stuff but i just no, it's, a bit, it's a bit boring to show on the vlog you know just me at the computer tapping away so this afternoon i'm probably gonna try and draw a little bit more once this vlog goes up because oh like what came in the mail it's so beautiful and shiny it's not really it's actually really matte but i love this sketchbook it's the strathmore mixed media sketchbook and i'm very excited to crack into it so i'm definitely going to be working on that later today and um i think that's it i do have a few more bits to do for my children's book course actually i'll just show you quickly so i started my children's book course I don't, i'm pretty sure i've mentioned it but if not i'm doing a children's book course for 10 weeks with the guys from SPS Lauren and I'm very excited about it. I have stolen this notebook that um, the staples were stapled wrong so it's a little bit beat up on the spine and it's not even trimmed. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it's just for me. I'm still in it to write all my notes in and this week we have to look at our like children's books and pick three of our favourite children's books talk about them like there's some questions that you have to answer and then we have to do some master studies from them i'm getting so excited i can barely talk uh these are the ones i chose i'm so excited so this one here otto otto blotter bird spotter one of my faves this one here is really good florette by anna walker it's like really green and lush and this is my absolute favorite it's my new love i bought it maybe two weeks ago mini rabbit not lost by John Bond and he's got another one to a sequel I'll just show you this is the page I'm going to do as a master study so I was going to try and do that this weekend I was meant to do all my homework this weekend but man life gets in the way doesn't it other stuff comes first so I knew that that 10 week course would take me a lot longer than 10 weeks so I'm not going to stress about it I'm just going to go with the flow do it as I can and the lessons are still being released so I can watch them as they come out and then re-watch them when I go back to do the homework. So that is my plan for the rest of the day. Um, it's a be still a beautiful sunny day outside. I hope it's nice next weekend. I am definitely, I didn't go out sketching outside. I didn't do it guys but maybe next week I can at the weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a vlog out next week. I might not because I don't think I have anything planned. Like <sighs> really i don't have anything planned at all like etsy wise so there's not really like a studio vlog i mean this technically wasn't really a i mean they're all studio vlogs they're called studio vlogs but like really it's kind of like a life art vlog isn't it so next week i might just have an art video out and yeah we'll go from there that is all for me today um this might have been a little bit of a short vlog but i hope that you enjoyed it have a lovely week and i will catch you in the next video thanks for watching bye